right? We got Mega Man vs. Captain Falcon. So, uh, this is going to be a little interesting. Uh, I haven't seen Nick play today, but playing with Nick all the time, uh, I know that he's pretty hyped about these Falcon buffs um, to a side B, up tilt, and back air. Yeah, so, he was telling me that he's like going to like side B everything. Oh, yeah, because it, um, it has more... Um, Armor? Armor on the starter frames, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. So, right now, uh, we got Nick put, pushing King Art to the ledge. And that is unfortunate, because I don't think King Art would have gotten back if it wasn't for that Crash Bomber going off. Because um, Nick is a player who likes to go off the ledge. So he is not afraid of going off the ledge trying to edge guard. Especially... Oh, no! Okay. So he definitely read that with the aerial side B. This air dodge. Uh, push King Art to the ledge. Mega Man landing with that down air. Uh, so the thing about Mega Man landing with a down air, he doesn't have a lot of landing options, so using that down air is like pretty, you know, pretty, learning how to use that is pretty, uh, pretty instrumental to Mega Man as a character. But Nixie's still taking that stock. Yeah, Nixie. Having King Arc at the ledge, and that leaf shield has a lot of end lag, which is why you always see Mega Man jumping in there after they use it, because they you know it has a lot of end lag, and if you don't do anything, you're just a sitting duck. Um, right now, Nick taking that lead after King Arc off to off that fast start. Let's see if we can get back to stage. Yeah, and he wasn't close enough to get that um, snap. Um, He's still lingering on the ledge a little bit, so now Nick is going to have that lead. And right now, got the auto cancel back air. So, so Bro, he, he just disappeared. So he took it. Okay, so here's, so he did that down throw um, attack cancel back air. So that attack cancel back air actually took King Ark's jump, because I don't think King Ark, King Ark expected him to do that. Um, yeah, right there. Oh, no, he took his jump with the Titman up air to back air, which is true. If you hit that Titman. Um, and King Art knew you couldn't make it, made it back after that. So, um, good stuff by Nixie. And I have to say, you know, after that quick start by King Art, uh, Nixie kind of just like turned that around. After he got that down there on the first stop, you know, kind of carried that momentum to the other stocks. So now we're going to go into this game to on Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story. So, the thing about this is that King Art always kind of picks Yoshi's Story. Almost every single time. And um, he has a pretty good win rate, win rate on the stage. So um, definitely come for pick coming from God of King Art. I don't think the Mega Man like <laughs> takes advantage of anything uh, like for the, the, the ledges, but I think it's mostly because of the, the blast zones. Yeah, and I the think, wall. Yeah, the, yeah. Blast, the blast zones and the wall. As Mega Man, you know, just trying to recover from, from deep. Yeah, I think most of the things are why King Art likes the stage so much. Um, right now, pretty much an even game. Um, King Art getting his Nixie off stage and going for that down air. Yeah, Something Nick. that he's using a lot of first time. Yeah, Nick is always going to like fade back with his up Bs uh, to try and avoid the hard knuckle. And I mean, like, it, it does put him in a, a situation where it's a lot more difficult to land the down air as Mega Man. Because, like, you want to, like, intercept it, like, more horizontally. He's just like, I'm going to go full, full vertical. Yeah. yeah. But right now, um, you know, Nick keeping that pressure on King Art at the ledge, see if he can get off. Yeah, and if Nick hit that, King Ark would die. And that was a crazy wall jump by Nick. Okay, good cross up by King Ark also. Cross up that forward air, Nick did not punch him the correct way. Yeah, King Ark with the pellet. Okay, got the grab, up throw. And not doing it, trying to get the DI mix up. And Nick hitting him with a weak hit of back air. Oh yeah, going for the mix-up knowing that it wasn't safe, and Nick is just he's a cool guy, to say. Okay, up airs. Ooh, yeah, that Nair one. Yeah, and even now, now Nick is utilizing um, those wall jumps on the side of Yoshi's story. Um, Falcon, a character with a wall jump, and, pre and he's pretty fast at that, so... That was a great air dive back to the ledge, but not down here for that. You can't grab the ledge twice like that. Okay. And here and here it is. So um so the duration, so another change to that move is that 
the duration that you are in hit stun, you're you're in the hit stun longer for that move. So now Falcon get it legitimate two follow-ups at lower percents out of that side B, which is what you saw there. Um, but right now King Arc taking that first stock. Let's see if he gets some momentum going, because right now he has Nick above him, and you know Nick is just trying to find his way down. Oh yeah. And King Arc, you know, staying strong to middle of the stage, and that's something that's really good because like the thing about you know. Um, advantage in this game if you hold center if you have if you have a whole a strong center presence there's not much that people could do to you and right now king are pretty much racked up 95 percent just holding center stage but right now nick has my dodge that was a great air dodge but nick swing why does that do that why does that do that Wait, when he like why does magnet it? leaps on you he, like auto detects your life he auto detects your soul to try to freaking catch you up you hate this character so Target found. Oh. <laughs> okay. Just down there from this uh, ledge. All right. Yeah. And yeah, SD, he just missed the ledge. Um, and yeah. Um, and Nixie, you know, taking that. King Arc, Yikes. yeah. King Arc, it, just, it seemed like King Arc wanted to get to the ledge. Mm -hmm. And then either up tilt or up smash as a mix-up and just didn't make it to ledge yeah he didn't make it to ledge 